if you're ready to experience more peace and joy in your life, if you want to feel more comfortable in your own skin, and if you're ready to discover and expand on your energetic gifts and personal power, you're in the right place. So here's your host, Kelly Sparta. Welcome to Thursday Thoughts. I'm your host, Kelly Sparta, transformational shaman and spiritual coach. Today, you're going to hear from one of my coaches. Her name is Amanda Johnson. She is an amazing healer and coach. She works with people on life after divorce. So she's got some thoughts to share with you today. Enjoy. Divorce is one of the most difficult things you're ever going to go through. But it is also an incredible opportunity for growth and self-discovery. So let's talk about how to approach your divorce from a spiritual perspective. How can embracing the pain of divorce lead to profound spiritual growth and self-discovery? First, I want to talk about embracing the pain. Embracing the pain of this divorce and accepting all of the facets that come with it. There is a pain associated with divorce. And this is the opportunity for you to have some really profound personal growth when you approach your divorce with openness and self-compassion. This self-compassion is just going to take you so far in this journey. How can the process of self-discovery complement and enhance one's spiritual growth? Spiritual growth is about deepening your connection and your understanding with the spiritual dimension of life. So this means getting a connection that goes beyond the physical and material realm of life, getting deep and getting a connection. Self-discovery on the other hand is about looking at the true nature of you. Who are you at the core? What are your values? What is your life purpose? And this introspection and self-discovering, looking way deep down into the core of who you are just allows you to transform all of this pain that you're feeling into some pretty incredible personal growth and allows you to grow and to change and identify who you are. This is an opportunity. How can cultivating spiritual practices help you find inner peace? It's important that you learn to cultivate some spiritual practices like meditation or prayer work to help to find that inner peace that you have in yourself, to give your mind a break from everything and allow you to connect deeper, to close out and block off all of that, that extra chatter in the world that you experience. And, and that's what some meditation and prayer work does. It allows you to block out the world and find peace in this turmoil. These practices will help you to stay grounded and connected to the work that you need to be doing. Meditation and mindfulness can bring you calmness and clarity, while prayer work and studies can bring you closer to your spiritual connection and provide you with wisdom and solace. And nature has this incredible way of just grounding you and bring you, bringing you into tranquility and peace in these really difficult times. When I go out into nature, I love to go out in my bare feet and walk in the grass and feel the soil on my feet and the sun in my face. It's just, it's very peaceful and very calming and certainly very grounding. How can inner work and spiritual values help you achieve harmony? Seek harmony within yourself, living up to your values such as forgiveness, compassion, and letting go. This inner work is crucial for spiritual healing. Inner work is doing some self-reflection, looking deep inside and releasing attachments, attachments to beliefs that no longer serve you, looking at all of those beliefs that you have suppressed and letting go of them because they no longer serve you and definitely cultivating some self-compassion. What is it that you need to do to truly love yourself? What is it that you need to do to love yourself? It's about aligning your spiritual values and connecting with the divine. This process helps you to peel away the layers of all the conditioning that you've experienced and allow yourself to heal those wounds and reveal 
the amazing true person that you are under all of this, revealing your true, authentic spiritual self. How can leaning on your spiritual community enhance your sense of belonging and provide valuable support? This is an important time to really lean in on your supportive community, your supportive spiritual community, leaning in with people who are like-minded and they share the same values that you have. This is your community. These are the people who are going to be of the most help to you right now. Engaging with that spiritual community who understand where you are right now. And this community may not be the same circle of support that you've had up to this moment. As you start to grow and to become your true self, your circles may change. And it may not be a change in necessarily who's in your circle, but how you're relating to those in your circle and relating on a more spiritual level and sharing greater, deeper accomplishments. It's very rewarding. And so find that community that are like-minded with you for this process. Next, we're going to start reframing. You're going to reframe this through a more spiritual lens. And by this, I mean not looking at your divorce as something that happened to you. But let's reframe this as this divorce is something that is happening for you to create this opportunity for you to make the greatest changes in your life to become the person that you were meant to be. This will be aligning you with your life's higher purpose. Shifting your focus that this divorce happening for you is providing you with the opportunity to have that greater alignment with who you're really meant to be. It's so empowering. It opens up so many doors for you when you're able to reframe this as something that's happening for you. This did not happen to you, but rather it's happening for you. Be patient and have faith. These emotions and this turmoil can feel like they're just taking absolutely forever. I need you to be patient with yourself and patient with the process. Have faith that this is an opportunity for you. Have faith in the process. Your faith and your resilience is so crucial. This challenging period is going to pass and you are going to emerge so much stronger and so much more aligned with your true purpose when you get to the other side. Use the divorce as an opportunity for a rebirth and a reinvention of your true authentic self. Shed all of that that no longer serves you. You're no longer that person. You owe it to yourself to be who you're meant to be and know that the authentic self is a person that you're really meant to be deep down at the core of your values and what is important in your beliefs, your personality, your way of being. It's not influenced by external pressures and the values and views of other people. This is all about you and to embrace your true authentic self. You need to have that self-awareness, the vulnerability and the courage, the wholeness and the autonomy to be living with a purpose, to be living with your purpose. So allow this journey to really be a spiritual and sacred journey into discovering your true self and who you're meant to be and what your purpose is. Approaching divorce spiritually is not seeing your divorce as an ending, but seeing this as a transition period for you to look inward, to address the wounds that need to be healed, to make you a whole person, go through that vulnerability, be courageous and step into the person that you're meant to be. Embrace the pain, cultivate your spiritual community that can support you through this transition. Do the inner work. Look at who you really are. Let go of the things that no longer serve you. Transition into the person that you were truly meant to be taking care of yourself. Have faith that this spiritual rebirth is going to bring you so much happiness, abundance, and satisfaction in life, living the life that you were meant to live. I'm Amanda Beth with Your Divorce Healing. And that's it for this week's Thursday Thoughts. Join us tomorrow for the Ascend Day on the Spirit Guides podcast. So that's it for today's episode of Spirit Guides Podcast. Head on over to iTunes, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen and subscribe to the show. Every week, one lucky listener who subscribes and posts a review on iTunes will be entered into a drawing for a $10,000 value grand prize and a private reading with Kelly Sparta herself. Be sure to head on over to spiritguidespodcast.com and pick up a free copy of Kelly's gift and join us on the next episode. Show